Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a general read for today. We'll start with the Wisdom Oracle cards and then move over to Tarot to clarify. So let's see what messages the universe has in store for us today. All right, Mama Universe, what do you got for us? Some guidance, some advice, maybe some insight, warnings. I feel like that one was about to pop out there. Uh, I feel like those guys too. So let's see what she's got for us. So I have message in a bottle. Leg up. Chaos and conflict. Exchanging gifts. And poised. So I feel like there's definitely uh, some conflict that you're going through right now. I feel like it's I don't feel like it's with someone. I feel like it's with your situation in life. I feel like that leg up is speaking to, um, I feel like it's speaking to help from somebody close to you. And I feel like that poise is an encouragement to, to be ready, um, to move forward and make a change. I feel this message in a bottle is connected to that as well. I have flexible, happy, happy, never ending story, time to go, and loyal heart. So I feel like we're going to be speaking about um, that chaos and conflict is speaking to a heartbreak. I feel like it's speaking to, to a romantic relationship. I feel like maybe we need to we need to process feelings and move forward. That never ending story tends to represent um, that everything happens for a reason in life. Um, having one setback doesn't end everything. Uh, life is a continuing journey. I feel like the flexible card is speaking to that as well and being able to to bend and move on your path and on your journey and not being rigid. I have the Five of Pentacles, which represents going through a rough time financially, uh, and the Nine of Wands, um, which speaks to a journey over time, working towards a goal over time. It tells me um, this journey, this way that you've been feeling, I feel like it's been going on for quite a while. This conflict inside the Two of Swords uh, represents having trouble making a choice, feeling sort of deadlocked or confused. I feel like it's time to make a choice in your life. I feel like it's tying into that poise, that time to go. And I feel like you need to be moving in a more, um, I don't want to say a more positive direction, but leaving, leaving maybe hurt and sadness and loss behind. The Six of Swords uh, represents moving from stormier times to calmer ones in your life. So I feel like it's speaking for the need uh, to let go of things that aren't serving you. And I feel like their emotions. I feel like their hurts, their heartbreaks. To be able to move forward, I have the Six of Pentacles. Um, it represents abundance. And I feel like, I feel like it's not technically speaking to money. I feel more of an emotional connection in this card. And I feel like it's speaking to moving towards happiness. I have the Three of Swords, which can represent heartbreak, um, and the Five of Swords, which speaks to selfish or short one victories, victories at the cost of others. So I feel like it's speaking to this heartbreak, and like you feel like you got taken advantage of um, somebody's victory came at the cost of you. I have the Four of Swords, uh, which represents taking time for self-care and for reflection as well. And I feel like it's speaking to, I feel like it's speaking to this two of swords and choosing a new path and finding clarity, choose to, choosing to let go of the past, to move forward, to choose a healing path in life. I have the eight of cups, which represents a, a bright new journey forward and leaving the past behind. I feel like that's what the, that's the choice that Tarot is speaking to today. 
I have the King of Pentacles here too. Um, I feel like he's speaking to you. I feel like he's speaking to the path um, that you that you are wrestling with choosing that healing, finding happiness and success again. I uh, usually represents wealth as well. I feel like we're speaking to emotions more than money in this read though. So I feel like the wealth is, I feel like it's within, it's within your heart and it's within your soul, it's within your mind. I have the Ace of Cups, which represents new beginnings. The Two of Pentacles, which speaks to balance. Um, and I feel like that's what we're needing to, by being able to let go of old hurts, I feel like you're going to be able to find an emotional balance again in your life. The magician tells me that you have all the tools that you need to be successful in life. Um, the sun card is a good omen card. It represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. And I feel like it's directly tied to this nine of cups. Um, it represents abundance and cups represents emotions. I feel like it's also speaking to healing. It's speaking to starting a new beginning. In letting go of the past and finding happiness. I have the tower card which represents a sudden or unexpected ending. I feel like it's also speaking to the heartache. So I don't think you were the one who left. Is usually what the tower card indicates. Um, But I have the Three of Wands. Uh, the Three of Wands represents overcoming obstacles while moving in a positive forward way. I feel like it's also speaking to, to leaving this tower behind, leaving this, this Three of Swords, this heartache behind as well. The Eight of Wands represents swift change and moving on. I feel like this swift change is going to be emotional for you. Then The Knight of Cups uh, represents an emotional victory and the ace of swords speaks to triumph i feel like this is your path to triumph this is your path to to inner peace I have the Knight of Pentacles. He represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. Uh, the Chariot card represents perseverance. The Four of Cups to me is also speaking of moving on. He can speak of an indifference or emotional withdrawal, but I feel like he's speaking to moving on, to letting go of emotions um, that don't serve you. Not giving them any more of your energy, uh, letting them go and moving past them. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is representing that you felt this way for a long time. I feel it tying into that that Nine of Wands from earlier on. And I feel like the thing that's going to come to fruition, I feel like it's happiness. I feel like it's that happy, happy card. It's that inner peace. The Page of Pentacles represents good news on the way. And I feel like it's directly tied in uh, to choosing to move forward. I have the King of Swords. I feel like he speaks to to the analytical, the logical side of you. Because I feel like your emotions are are pretty charged still. They're still, I feel like they're raw. I feel like it's hard for you to see past them. The thing about the two of swords up here, having trouble finding clarity, it encourages you to take a step back and look at your situation from a different perspective. I feel like the king of swords is that different perspective. Sort of taking emotion out of things and being able to see that this person taking advantage of you, um, you're actually better off not having somebody like that in your life. And that it allows space for somebody who's generous and kind to come into your world. The Four of Pentacles to me speaks of holding back. It speaks of these emotions holding you back from moving forward. The Knight of Wands uh, represents moving, moving on, fast change. I feel like it comes from your decision to move on. I have the Strength card, so I feel like this is going to be an empowering journey for you. Um, being able to reflect, being able to, to find some clarity and then let go and move forward, I feel like it's going to be very empowering. I feel like you don't quite understand how empowering it is. And I feel like the moon card speaks to that. 
It speaks of things that are still unknown to us and will only be revealed when the time is right. And I feel it directly tied to this strength card. I feel like it's tied into the happy, happy too. And like you don't really realize how happy you can be um, without this person. And I feel like by letting all these emotions go, that's where you're going to find. That's where you're going to find this happiness. That's where that's going to come from. Being able to move forward, let go of of these emotions that are no longer serving you. This person was not your soulmate. They were not meant to be in your life. And hanging on to the hurt um, takes up valuable energy that you could be giving to yourself and finding happiness. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. If it resonated with you, please let me know because I do love hearing from you guys. And remember to like or subscribe. If you want to enter for the free draw at the end of the week, you have to be a subscriber. Alrighty guys, take care.